Hello, welcome back to my channel. So glad that you are here. I so appreciate you coming to my channel and watching my videos. So uh, this is kind of weird for me. I don't normally jump on here in my intro with no wig on at all, but I thought that we would do something a little different today. So I have a wig that's from Shirley's Wig Shop. And I just wanna remind you that Shirley has a really great private Facebook group. It's called Shirley's Wig Shop. Hair's looking at you, kid. I invite you to come over and join. I'll put a link in the description so you can join that Facebook group. And uh, it's a new color by Tressalor and a new style for me that I haven't tried yet. So I have Beach Wave Magic here. And the color is EL12228. They have these new colors. They're called Euro Light. And I will give you a little bit more explanation, but I thought that we would completely unbox the wig together, try it on, and uh, just see what it looks like together. So more on that in just a minute. Okay, so let's start taking a look at this wig. So like I said, this is Beach Wave Magic, and I know that this has been a really, really popular style. These are heat-friendly fibers on this wig, and this is in their new Euro Light color 12228. I believe they came out with three of these new Euro Light colors, so I'm gonna to read to you what the Euro Light is. It says, there are three shaded tones that are blended together with bright highlights at the front, and reducing on the sides and crown and increasing slightly at the back of the wig. Colors are vibrant, warm, and spectacular. So um, this one is a 12, a 22 that's rooted with an eight. So let's open the box up, see what we have. Okay, so they send you some literature, uh, wig care instructions, um, look fabulous, realistic fiber description. This is their light fiber. So that's a new um, new way they're doing their fibers as well. And then this one explains that these are the Look Fabulous Realistic Fiber um, and talks about they are heat friendly up to 320 degrees. So always read your little cards that come with your wig because they, uh, they have all that great information on them. So just opening her up, looks like she's not in a hairnet or anything. She is, um, held in here with these uh, large bobby pins. You see that a lot. So you just kind of pull the wefted wig and then they usually do the tag. Yes, down here they've done the tag. So pull that out really gently, but no hair net or anything on this one. At like. the cap construction first. So looks like we have a full mono top, which is nice. That means that you can part it wherever you like. You have all those options for parting the right, the left, or in the middle. And then we have an extended lace front, which is a very nice feature. I love when the lace front extends. It gives you that true temple to temple coverage, which is really great. Soft ear tabs with metal stays, open wefted cap, extended soft nape and Velcro adjusters. Uh, Permatees, don't feel any, but we'll flip it, you know, inside out and see. And so this is considered average size. Plenty of stretch in the wefted cap. They're stretching the circumference also. I don't know how it fits me yet because I haven't tried it on. I'm gonna put my wig cap on. So the way I put my wig cap on, as you can see, I have a little bit of hair, nothing. <laughs> my problem is I, wear, I grow it on the top, but I don't grow it, you know, around the sides and around and in the back. So obviously I need to wear a wig, but I like to keep some hair because honestly, this might sound silly to some people, but it keeps my head warm. <laughs> I, I am very cold natured and I hate getting cold. So it keeps my head warm and I like that. And I have shaved my head in the past, but because I do grow it on the top, it's the constant maintenance of having to shave it and shave it and shave it. I just got sick of it. So I just thought, you know what? I'll just grow some out. It's so fine and so thin. And it, as you can see, it's really easy to tuck into a wig cap. Now, I did spray my hair with hairspray first and then I'll spray the cap because that just helps hold my cap on. And a lot of times at the end of the day, my cap has not moved all day. So um, just a little tip for getting the wig cap to stay on, especially if you do have some hair underneath, it will stick to that hairspray and unboxing. So, so I place my thumbs here where the Velcro adjusters are at the nape, and then just plunge my head in. Let me stand back a little. So I'm gonna just plunge my head in then flip the hair back. Now you can see it's too low, so you can pull it back a little bit. Use your ear tabs. 
oh, okay, I was worried about those bangs. I was, I was thinking this might not be the best wig for a live try on. Oh, that's very pretty. I see why y'all love this one. Okay, let's work on this part a little bit. Usually, yeah, very true to Tress Allure. I usually don't have a lot of trouble opening their parts, so that's very nice. Maybe a little bit of, I think with these bangs, you can just kind of throw them wherever you want, unless you want them, you know, down on your forehead. Okay, I paused that because I wanted to get my rat tail coming. Even though I have a nice straight part right now, I'm still getting, you know, it's kind of curved there towards the front. So I thought I would try moving it over a little bit. We might have to use the hot comb, which I have down here ready to heat up if I need it. It's very, it's hard, not that easy to do this on camera. So I'm probably gonna have to pause and go check the mirror every once in a while here. And I have to fix things a little bit. No, that looks pretty good. Okay. So I'm always kind of undecided with waves. Do I want to comb through them? Or do I wanna just leave them as is when I do a review? Because, you know, I don't wanna take all the wave out and I really like for y'all uh, to see what the wig looks like right out of the box without me doing a bunch of styling to it. So what you just saw me do, opening the part, um, combing it just a bit, that is what you will typically see me do with these wigs. Um, I usually just don't do, you know, a whole lot to them. I know other reviewers like to do a lot of styling and that's fine, you know, if that's their choice. Like I said, I just am more, uh, my thought process for my channel is more showing you what these look like straight out of the box and then showing you what you can do with them. Um, you know, and I always try to disclose everything that I do to the wig, but with a wavy wig, I also don't want to frizz my waves out you know, eventually those waves are gonna to start to relax. These are heat friendly fibers. So, you know, they're gonna to start to get some wear and tear on the ends and you're gonna to have to start messing with them in the future anyway. So when I first take a, a wavy wig out, I just like to just keep that integrity of the wave, the way it came out of the box. As long as it's like, I mean, this is a very pretty wave. I don't really feel like I need to do anything to this, you know, so. This is a really pretty wig. I didn't realize it was this long. It doesn't look this long on the model. Really, really okay, pretty. So let's look at all the features with the wig on my head. So here is that extended lace front that's extending all the way down to here and you have good hairline all the way down onto that, you know, where that nape, that uh, lace extends. Looks really good. The knots look good. I love this color, it's really, really pretty. So you can see that eight root along the part. And this one was parted actually on the right, which is interesting. A lot of times they are parted from the factory on the left. But of course, with this full mono top, you can change that part. This is what I was showing you when I showed you the cap. You know, you can move that part around and put it wherever you'd like. This one also does have a bang layer. So let's see what we're looking at with the bangs here. They are long right now, but that's very typical for a wig that has bangs. They usually leave them longer so that you can cut them to your design. Good. I think I would just side sweep them personally. And I and that's another thing I like about when they leave those bangs long because you do have that option to just sweep them over to the side if you want to. But just know that if you are someone who wants, you know, a side bang, you want it short, shortened a little bit, you could certainly do that. And then let's see what the layering looks like. So bang layers going down to here. And then I'm starting to get longer side measurement there so so just a bang to about here and then we go into the longer measurement okay so let's like. look at the measurements so they are saying we have a 10 inch front like i said i don't think this is 10 inches i don't have anything to measure it with right now but there's that's not 10 inches um that's probably about seven inches um and then we have 12 inch sides 
uh, 15.25 inches from the crown. And then the nape is 8.5 inches. Weight wise, she is four ounces. Okay, I do want to speak about how the, this wig is fitting my head. I almost forgot to film this part. So um, ear to ear, it's fine on me. I'm 11 ear to ear. I would say it's uh, really a nice uh, ear to ear length because it comes down just slightly in front of my ears. So for those of you who do have bio hair there that you're hiding, there's really, really good coverage at those ear tabs. Uh, forehead to nape, I'm 13. And you know, this is definitely fitting like an average, but it's not huge on me. So there's not a huge, there's a little extra room up here at the crown, but not enough to make it like a cone head. You know how some wigs do that? It's fitting nice, you know, and uh, snug to my head. But with this open lifted cap, I can definitely tell that they're stretched. So it should fit average and, and above average. I'm not sure about large. Um, and in, in the circumference, I just needed to bring in the adjusters just slightly for my 21 inch circumference. So I think it's definitely a true, you know, 22 inch, but um, you know, it's fitting really nice, very comfortably on my petite head. Okay, let's start taking a look at this color. So like I said, the color code for this one is EL1222R8. The EL is standing for that Euro light, which they are saying is a different blending and highlighting method um, of three different shades. So the 12, the 22, and the eight. So it's interesting when you start looking at this and I'm gonna get like close and far away. I'm gonna show you this, the nape color. There's all sorts of colors going through this. I'm probably gonna pop it off and show it to, just show it to the camera as well, because it's, I just, I'm hoping the camera is gonna do it justice <laughs> because it's really has a lot going on, but it's really, really gorgeous, very stunning color. So the description for EL1222R8 is a blend of light golden brown with gold blonde highlights that's rooted with a medium brown. So I see a gold blonde, but I also see a lighter blonde. So I would throw in that there's a pale blonde highlight going through it as well, because you can clearly see this pale highlight right here at the front and in these bangs. That's a little more of a you know neutral compared to this darker gold that I feel like is probably the blend that's coming in. So there's something, you know, a little lighter in there also. But then we go down and we start to get into what almost looks like a strawberry, a reddish. And I guess that's that blending with the brunette base that's in it. And then on this underside on the nape, we definitely see a light brown with, uh, with warmth to it. And then of course we see the eight at the root. And the root is gonna show anywhere we separate the hair. You know, for styling, it should show under here under the nape. So here you can see, I see light brown, I see golden blonde, and then I see that lighter blonde going through it, that highlight color. And then here at the back, you know, it says it's reducing, it's at the front and then it's reducing as you go towards the back. So the back has more of just that brunette blend. You do see that rooting color, and then you go into that more of a light brunette. And that's where I'm seeing warmth in that brunette. Here's the crown. So here's the rooting. Here's the crown. Okay, this is light coming through the window.
so now I am still under my patio cover. Stepping out into the sun. Okay, I hope that that showed you the color thoroughly um, in all different types of lighting because it's very, very interesting, this color. But it pretty much looks like, you know, you went and got, you got highlights, you got low lights. <laughs> A very expensive color job, so really, really pretty. So another thing that's interesting about Beach Wave Magic that I don't, I didn't really touch on too much, is that this is considered to be these are their stylable, realistic fibers, which are their heat-friendly fibers, and this is considered to be one of their light wigs that is supposedly forty percent lighter than um, other fibers. So I know that Beach Wave Magic has been out for a while. So if any of you have tried this wig, I would really appreciate in the comments. If you would let me know what you you know what you're seeing with the wear as far as this um, different type of fiber density wise, I don't really feel a difference. I mean, there's no permatees in the wig that I can find anywhere. Even coming out, I thought there might be some right here, but that's just the way uh, the hair is you know put in the wig and the style itself, the wave pattern and the wig is just giving it some lift up here, which is nice. I'm not feeling any permatees, but other than that, it doesn't feel you know less dense to me than other Tressalor heat-friendly wigs have in the past. So um, I'm just curious what you guys think of this light, um, lighter fiber. I, I'm not sure I 100% understand if it's lighter density or if the fibers themselves are more fine and denier. I don't see a difference personally. So I'm just anxious to see if you guys have experience. Please let me know. Okay, so. We'll take a look at styling and all that stuff like I always do. So easy to tuck behind the ear, which is nice. So glasses go up easily, but I would tuck first because, you know, they're definitely with the wave pattern. You got to push just a little bit. So tuck behind the ears first if you want to wear your glasses up. All right, let's see here. We'll grab a headband. Should look pretty with a headband. Let's see if we can get the whole layer up there in our headband. I always like to see if that is possible without pushing the wig off my head. <laughs> okay, no, it didn't push back. So you can, but like I said, that bang layer is not super long. I'm not sure that it would stay, but if you want all the hair off your face, you might need to spray it with a little, um, you know, synthetic uh, safe hairspray or use a little product in it just to make sure it will stay. But you can also just pull that bang layer down and it looks cute around the face. So this side seems to be holding really, really nicely. But, you know, and I'm just keeping them swooped up here and swept to the side. So, you know, they're not going to get in my face or anything. But again, if you were going to shorten them, you could have more uh, coverage around the face, you know, that way as well. But they are obviously too long for me to <laughs> review it like that. But really, really pretty. So you could also add, you know, for a low pony with a headband, you could add a scrunchie. I'll just do it and show y'all. Particularly for heat friendly fibers, I love the scrunchies with a headband. If you want to do, you know, pull it back, get it off your face, get it off your neck a little bit, because it's just, they're really, the scrunchies are really, really gentle on the fibers compared to the elastics. So, and I always think it looks pretty cute, you know, and it gets the hair out of your face, 
gets it under control. Like if you're gonna be outside in wind and stuff like that, you know, so. But I'm really comfortable pulling a scrunchie out of heat friendly fibers versus pulling an elastic. Cause I know with an elastic, I'm gonna have fibers that are gonna spring back, you know, and not the best, it's not the best thing for my fibers. So, okay, so she can definitely do a half up, half down. And that's very pretty with the bang layer. Um, you get a little bump back here if you want it. You could smooth that down more, but I think that looks really, really pretty when it has that, that bump in it there. And then obviously she has the length to do ponytails and updos and things like that. So she does have an extended nape, which is nice. So really, really pretty. And then you could do a twist. This bang layer is going to be one, is going to want to be down on this side as well. But you could also add a little more, there is a little more layering there, I guess, than what I thought. You could add a little more, you know, around the face. Oh yeah, maybe that's where the 10 inches. So you have to kind of pull the wig out, <laughs> pull it out and mess with it to get to see where those layers are. pretty just have a little hair around your face with a pony or with you know a twist and updo or a braid or whatever so really really pretty I think overall I think this is just a gorgeous style and Tressler has some beautiful colors you know if, if you're not into this EL these Euro light colors um, they have some other really really pretty colors that are rooted and not rooted and um, just really really pretty and I do like their fibers I've always thought their fibers were very natural looking and I think this um, light fiber is just more effort on their part to have a more you know a natural looking fiber which is always good love it when you know these wig companies are striving to have the most realistic look possible so that's great for us the customers so thank you so much to Shirley for sending this wig to review for you all there will be purchase information in the description box down below as long as well as a link to that Facebook page so Facebook group sorry ah, I can't talk anyway Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye-bye.